Hello and welcome to the stress due to gravity video tutorial. The first step is to locate ANSYS Workbench on your computer and open it. For this tutorial we're using ANSYS 13.0. Once Workbench is open, locate Static Structural in the Analysis Systems toolbox and drag it into your project schematic. Rename the static structural stress due to gravity. Next we need to set up the geometry for our problem. Double click on geometry. Next select the XY plane from the tree outline and click look at plane. Open the sketching tab, select rectangle, hold your cursor over the origin until a P appears, left click, drag it up and to the right and click again. Next open the dimensions tab. Select the top edge of our rectangle and the right edge of our rectangle. Set H1, our width, to 3 inches and V2, our height, to 2 inches. Next select Extrude. For the depth, select 50 inches and click Generate. By rotating our sketch we can see that we've now created a long slender bar. Next select New Plane, under Type select From Face, select the End Face of our bar and click apply. Click generate. Select plane 4. Look at plane. New sketch. Zoom out using your scroll wheel. Open the sketching tab and select rectangle. And create a larger rectangle around our original geometry. Select the dimensions tab, click on the top edge of our new rectangle, and on the left edge of our new rectangle, then select horizontal, click on the right edge of our new rectangle, and on the vertical axis, Select Vertical, click on the bottom edge of our new rectangle, and on the horizontal axis. Now we're going to set H1 to 9 inches, H3 to 3 inches, V2 to 6 inches, and V4 to 2 inches. Zoom out using our scroll wheel we see that our new rectangle is centered about our original geometry. Next click Extrude. For depth, type in 6 inches and click Generate. By rotating our geometry and zooming out, we can see that we've now created a large block on the end of a long 
slender rod. Next we need to slice our geometry into two separate parts so that we can effectively mesh them in the next step. To do this first go to tools, freeze, then create, slice, click apply to automatically select plane 4, and then click generate. Now expand the two parts, two bodies. And we can see that we've created two separate parts, one of the block and one of the slender bar. When you've finished creating your geometries, close the design modeler.